The Raider of the Monies. In a world where it was once thought impossible, you will now see it right in front of you. The 23 block gap. Hey coders, the Money Raider here. Today we're going to be looking into how to give the player motion, or rather how to work around the fact that you can't. So without further ado, let's hop right into the demonstration. So for this episode of Datapack Tools, I added three custom items that apply motion to the character. The first is the double jump boots. So if we grab a potion of leaping, this is a longer one, and netherite boots and throw them on the ground get some double jump boots. If you put those on, you jump and click space, you'll be propelled roughly a block up. See, I made it. I'm just too good, I guess, at parkour. But you'll notice if you try to click space again, nothing. For the second item, we have infinite jump boots. For half these, throw a stack of shulker shells and one netherite boots onto the ground, and you get some infinite jump boots. I bet you guys can't guess what these do. Ready? You can double jump, or you can triple, quadruple, and all the way up to infinity. I know, it's such a hard concept to understand. Infinity. <laughs> For the third item, we have the grappling hook from Hypixel Skyblock. To grab it, throw two diamonds and three netherite ingots onto the ground. There you go. To use this, just right click and then click back if you jump up you propel yourself more forward if you go straight down you'll propel yourself up and with the jump boots while if you're trying to jump and then using the grappling hook you can't use it really usually but if you use the grappling hook and then try to jump you can use it in that sense To visualize the process this time, I have used some arm stance. We're going to be looking at the way I apply motion to the player without actually applying motion. So first off, we summon the arm stance and teleport it to the player, and then give it the motion you want. To do that, you can use like Nope Names um, directional motion video, which is in the I card above. Then we're going to summon an area effect cloud to track its last position. Now you can see how close the area effect cloud is to the player. If it's too far away, meaning the player's deviated from the arc a little bit, you run a function. And in that function, you're going to get the player's position and the armor stance position, and then you want to get the position three-fourths in between them, closer to the player than the armor stance, so the player can, you know, move the arc more. That way they can move the motion arc. Then you teleport the player to the armor stance so you get the Y positioning and the new three-fourths positioning. Then you resummon the area effect cloud to mark that tick, and then you wait for the next one. Now, that was for the grappling hook. For the double jump, it's a lot simpler, actually. The armor stand is summoned with upwards motion of roughly one block jump, depending on if it's the infinite or the double jump. Then, its X and Z position are controlled by the player. That way, so the player controls the direction, and so if you're jumping, and then you move a little bit, you can move the arc even more. You're always controlling the direction. The armor stand just controls the up and down motion. So you control the arc uh, length while it controls the arc height. And then lastly, the armor stand ch checks if there's a block under it. And if it's air, it does nothing. If it's not, then it's going to kill itself and clear the levitation effect from the player. That's about it for today, guys. As always, the download will be in the description. Please check out the other data pack tools videos, and as always, keep coding.